In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the powerful customization features of TouchTurn Pro, which enable you to more fully take advantage of the iPhone's unique interface capabilities. TouchTurn Pro was designed to allow you to create gesture shortcuts to things you do frequently. In this example, we're going to create a relatively complicated action for launching Emacs and setting up the TouchTurn Pro environment for using Emacs. First, I'm going to choose the gesture to bind. Let's choose the triple tap gesture, and let's make sure it's on the bottom edge of the screen. Once we've selected the gesture, we can add the actions that we're going to perform. First, I'm going to add a send string action, and this just sends a string over the terminal connection, so I'm going to send the Emacs command with the dash NW option. Now, once that's been sent, I also have to send the return key in order for the command to be executed. Now, the next action I'm going to perform is a push profile action. Uh, what this means is basically that TouchTerm Pro maintains a profile stack, and this allows us to save the currently active profile so that we can return to it later. Now I can execute the switch active profile action, and I'm going to switch to this Emacs profile that I've set up, which helps customize the environment for use with Emacs. And finally, I'm going to spring up a custom keypad. And I've also set up, of course, a keypad for using Emacs. This has a lot of useful Emacs commands gone to it. And while we're at it, I'm also going to add an arrows. I'm going to add the arrow keypad to show the arrows, because it's useful to have the arrows while you're using Emacs. So there's our action. When we triple tap on the bottom edge, it's going to send the Emacs NW followed by a return. It's going to push the current profile and switch to the Emacs profile. And it's going to show the Emacs and arrow keys keypads. So let's try it out. I'm going to connect to my save session and triple tap on the bottom edge. You can see a lot of things have happened. First of all, Emacs has been launched. Also, the font color has changed. And I just did that to make it more obvious that it did indeed switch to the Emacs profile. And we see our keypads as we've requested. Now, these keypads have other commands bound. So, for example, when I tap open, it, it enters a control X, control F, which is the Emacs command for opening a file. And so we can now access our good old httpd.com file. And it comes up in Emacs. Now I can also I have all these other Emacs commands set up, but I'm just going to hit quit for now. And what quit's going to do is sort of undo everything that we did in our previous action. So it's going to hide the Emacs keypad and switch back to the previously active profile, which you can see here by the fact that the color is now green. So that gives you an example of the sort of customization that's provided by Touchstone Pro. And you can see how easy it is to basically start harnessing the power of TouchTerm Pro's extensive configuration system for your own needs.